All right, guys. So since the last Chia sinking video did so well, and the one I posted right after it to add on to that did so bad, let's go ahead and redo it, but add some new tips that we've learned since. All right? So in this video, we're going to be talking about why your Chia is not sinking, how you can fix it possibly, and what causes it. So let's start the video off by what causes it. All right, guys. So in this video, like I just stated, we're going to talk about why Chia isn't sinking for some people. So the first part that I want to talk about is what causes it. So there's several different reasons. It could be anything from the computer itself to restrictions on your router to restrictions by, by your ISP, your internet service provider. Um, could be your hardware. It could be your software. So in this video, we're going to go over some of the ways that you can fix this issue, and hopefully it's able to help you all out. All right. So let's go ahead and move on to working on, we're gonna use the Dell um, this time. And I also pull up uh, Chia on the MSI and possibly the desktop. That way we can work everything out and really get into how to fix this. Hold up. Before I get to that, let's talk about something else. Why I get asked this question on the video so much, I don't know. Yes, you can still plot while sinking. You just cannot farm. So if you have a full hard drive that's already farmed, move it to a different computer where you can sync if you have that ability or a node, or Raspberry Pi, whatever, run the farm and let it farm. But if you're plotting, you're still gonna need to use the same machine. So let's just get that out the way. All right guys, so we're over at the first Dell. This one is sinking uh, 272,670 out of 301,803. All right, I went ahead and left it for a few minutes and it is still sinking. So this one is stuck on the sinking page. Now, the first issue that we came across when doing this was the date and time is wrong. So you need to come down to your date and time, right? Whoops. You need to right click. And yes, for all the people that are talking about me needing the screen recorder, I have one, but I'm trying to make these videos for y'all as fast as possible. So we're gonna right click, hit adjust time and date. We're gonna set time automatically afterwards. So you're gonna unset it, set it to the correct time zone, and then reset it to automatic and hit sync now. That's gonna fix your date and time. And honestly, for most people, that's the issue. Now, there's some other things that it can be, and let's start talking about those. Okay, so the first issue was the date and time. Let's go ahead and blow this up. We're gonna come down to connections. So one thing that you can do to try to fix this is add more connections. These are all the connections that had while trying to sync. So what we can do is we can come here and we can type in introducer oops, dash. Uh, there's several different ones. Um, so there's VA, there's OR, dot chia dot net port is going to be 844 and you can also use three sometimes depending on what your uh, network is so we can go ahead and add that and i actually have noticed that this has been really slow at adding these but let me go ahead and pull up the list of all these for y'all okay so here we have the north asian south asia western north america eastern europe and then these are some other ones that you can do as well. And port 8444. So that's one way that you can possibly get it to sync. Now let's go ahead and talk about the router settings. All right, so I'm gonna leave this down so my IP address isn't shown, but you can go to portchecker.co, type in 844, and 844, it's open. So we're good to go there. If it's not open, you're gonna to need to contact your service provider or go into your router and change your settings. Some ISPs do limit this port for some reason. All right, so we've talked about the port. Your port's open. Your time is correct. What could it be? Well, what version do you have? So let's check that next. So on your Chia, you'll just come to help, about Chia blockchain, and this is 1.1.4. Then you'll just go download the newest version, which is 1.1.5 currently. And honestly, 1.1.4, 1.1.5, 1.1.2 should work. 1.1.3 was the one that this started on from 
um, the most issues. But I can't get 1.1.1, 1 .1 .1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to work on this computer at all. And I'm going to go over why this one will not work. All right, so we've checked our version of Chia. We made sure our node was good. We made sure our port was open. We've added the introducer, and we've checked our time. What else can we do? Well, there's a few things. So the next thing that we can try is actually just restarting the computer. It's a very simple thing, but it can actually make it work. Along with restarting the computer, something else that we can do is actually, let me close this out and minimize this. We can right click on Chia. And this only works for very few people, but it does actually sometimes work. I accidentally opened it up the wrong way. So we're gonna right click and we're gonna run as administrator. And that will actually sometimes get it to work. It's, it seems to be very random because every computer will give you different errors of why it's not syncing and issues like that. So what else can we do? Well, that's pretty simple. Let's go ahead, while we're in here, we're gonna go ahead and close it out. And yes, I know I need a screen recorder. I hear the people still complaining in the, in the comments. All right, so we're gonna go to my computer and blow this up for y'all. All right, so my computer, you're gonna go to the operating system, you're gonna go to users, you're gonna go to your user folder, and then there's a Chia folder right here. And you're gonna take and right click on that and hit delete. Go to your recycle bin and clear it. Empty your recycle bin. Come to Chia setup. This is 1.1.2. And we're going to just reinstall Chia. As simple as that. Okay, so date and time was correct. We made sure that we had the introducer and the port open. What could it be? Well, we've run as administrator. We've reinstalled it. We've deleted the folder. What could it be? It could be the computer itself. Some computers have restrictions built in. Dells are very notorious for this issue. So if you have a pre-built compu pre computer like an Alienware, a Dell... Um, HP Gateway, whatever it may be, ASUS, MSI, they could have restrictions on the computer itself that are causing issues. So that could be one thing. Here's a couple other things it could be. So some of the other things it could be is Windows Defender. So Windows will most of the time see a miner as a virus. So you want to disable your Windows Defender while you're installing and running it for the first time. Next, Antivirus software. McAfee was notorious on these Dells for actually finding it and saying it was a Trojan virus and all this stuff. Go ahead and disable all of your security and make sure it's all off. Turn it off, run this, you're gonna be fine, I promise. Next, is your Windows up to date? So Windows being out of date can be a big issue for almost any software that is developed after an older edition. So you may wanna make sure that you have the newest version of Windows installed. That's pretty much all the solutions that you can find. Now you can change your port to three, four, you can, um, you can change routers, you can go ethernet, you can go Wi-Fi. There's, it's, it's very random of what issues are caused by what and why it's not syncing. So we've tried pretty much everything that we know. Um, the GUI, which is the graphic user interface, has a syncing issue and it seems to be a problem. So. All we're gonna have to do is keep hoping that the developers fix this issue, which 1.1.5 was supposed to fix this issue. Now, if you've watched this video this far, I will leave links in the description below so you can find all this information. And um, anything that new comes out, I'll definitely make a video about it so y'all can get an up-to-date um, experience. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope y'all enjoy this video and I hope it helps some of y'all out.